Whakataka te hau ki te uru Whakataka te hau ki te tonga Kai mā kina kina ki ora Kai mā taratara ki tai E hi ake ana te atukura He tio, he huka, he hau hu Ke te whae au, ke te au marama Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou Tēnā tātou katoa Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's very humbling to be able to speak to you this evening. Now, most of you know my Whairawa story and that I was able to purchase my first home in Kirikiriro in 2013 and most recently in Tamaki Makoto this year. It's a, it's a great story for Whairawa and uh, my whanau have all been very proud to see me in the media over the last month. <laughs> but let me be clear, I'm not the hero here. It's, it's not me that's the star of this show. I'm just one of thousands of Whairawa members benefiting from the foresight and the vision of our leaders who set up Whairawa 10 years ago. I consider myself lucky that I can actually give something back by endorsing Whairawa to the nation because the rest of the members don't get that chance. So on their behalf, on behalf of all of them, everyone enrolled in Whairawa, I say thank you. Thank you to those with the brilliant foresight, to the team who've worked hard these past 10 years to make Whairawa the success that it is. It is you, the founders and the guardians of Whairawa who deserve all the credit. Almighty Pak Paki. I believe the key to the success of Whairawa is in its design. After the New Zealand Herald article a few months back, one of my friends gave me some feedback that he got from some of my mates. Some of them were saying, look at him, he got a grant. Or he's so lucky, he got a handout. But quick to my defence, my friend said, hey, you didn't even read the article. He saved his own money into the scheme for seven years before he bought his first house. Now, if an iwi or any organisation wanted to give people, say, first home buyers a, a $10,000 or a grant or, or or money for free, it wouldn't be right because one, it teaches people nothing and two, it gives them a sense of entitlement which can be a dangerous attitude to have. Whairawa is fair because there's no criteria or means testing to iwi members, it's all encompassing to everyone up to 65 and its success lies in this, it only rewards you if you contribute. You need to save to reap the rewards, the emphasis on the self to be disciplined, to budget and to make the right decisions for you and for the whānau members for whom your decisions affect. Now by teaching and encouraging its members to save, Ngāi Tahu have pulled off a social experiment that is the envy of all other iwi. In post-treaty settlement New Zealand, Whairawa is the greatest thing any iwi has ever done for its people. It's a statement from the iwi which says, I care about you, trust in us, invest your money in us, and we will invest in you. The other great part of Whairawa is the increased level of engagement between iwi and the runanga. It gives us all, no matter how near or far we are away from Te Waipaunamu, an opportunity to connect, to feel involved, and to take more of an active interest in both the political and fiscal happenings around the iwi. On a personal level, it certainly made me proud to be Naitahu and proud to be Māori. There have been two Māori influences on me in my adult life. The first is Dr Jim Williams from Te Whare Wānanga o Otāko, who is an inspiring and passionate teacher of our history. And the second major influence has been Whairawa, which has helped me connect with my iwi. Now I'm not sure if that was the intended consequence when Whairawa was set up 10 years ago, but this connection will be treasured more than money or the property ever will be. Finally, I'd like to talk about leadership. Leaders are important for Naitahu, and the Rangatira and Tipuna who have gone before would be very proud of what we're achieving today. We owe a great deal of thanks to our leaders and the influence they're having on our lives through the implementation and the running of Whairawa. Thank you to David Tikau for the excellent work you do. And after speaking to you at length in regards to Whairawa, I'm confident that the direction you're heading will ensure the long-term success and sustainability of the scheme. When I started to think about leaders, it made me think about leaders in my own life. In a way, we're all leaders because of the influence we have on those around us, maybe in the workplace, at home, 
on the marae. It's the interactions we have in our daily lives that shape us all as individuals. Celebrating success is not something that comes naturally to most Kiwis, but if you surround yourself or lean towards people who are successful and have a positive outlook, then this will manifest and motivate you to be successful yourself. I'm one of the lucky ones who can call a great leader in my life, Dad. And given he's here tonight, I'd like to thank you, Dad, for having such a positive influence, a strong work ethic, and always offering me the best advice when I ask. Matuatu koto, hey manaki, hey tiaki, inga wakato, tenakoto, tenakoto, tenakoto kato.